How is GameStop, a company that is losing money and is not doing well, is able to skyrocket 1000%? To listen, this is the most dangerous part. Hello, niece and nephew. This is Uncle Robert, Uncle Roger's greatest fan. Hello, niece and nephew. It's Uncle Roger. Today, we're going to talk about a share that went up over 1000%. Uncle Robert have never seen anything like this before. This is out of this world. Every niece and nephew talking about it. What is this share? GameStop. GameStop skyrocketing. How is GameStop, a company that is losing money and is not doing well, is able to skyrocket 1000%? Let Uncle Robert explain to niece and nephew how this happened. And Uncle Robert also want to share with niece and nephew all the potential problem that might be coming and all the pain that might be coming. Uncle Robert do not want niece and nephew to be suffering. Before that, Uncle Robert would like to do disclaimer. This is for entertainment purpose only. Do not use this as investment advice. Also, niece and nephew, please hit the like button and subscribe if you find this useful. It is really going to help Uncle Robert. Please share this with more niece and nephew so they can be aware. This craziness is so mind-boggling. This craziness is happening right now. Many people making millions of dollars and many people going bankrupt. This is something very serious. Niece and nephew, please listen. All this happened because a few months ago, some genius on Reddit found that this stock, GameStop, was shorted 140%. How can a company be shorted 140%? There is more share shorted than share available. But this genius found opportunity. We also have a very famous big shot investor, Michael Burry, who went long on GameStop. In 2020, Sony and Microsoft both released plan for the new gaming console. This would be good for GameStop. Then there are many many good catalysts. One catalyst is Chewy founder start joining GameStop and take 9% stake. GameStop surged 28% after it gave plan to turn it into Amazon rival. Then GameStop announced multi-year partnership with Microsoft. Later GameStop report e-commerce sales went up 257%. This is when Chewy co-founder increased his stake from 9% to 13%. All these are very good catalysts for GameStop. Plus the huge short position, 140%. It is impossible. This sparked the genius mind in Wall Street bets on Reddit to see this as perfect opportunity to push the share up through short squeeze. They go after the ones that are heavily shorted in order to come up with a short squeeze. They'll come up with a thesis all in display and then run them and run them until the shorts have to cover their positions, spurring still one more leg higher. And with the right setup, this phenomenon can push the share higher and higher and force short seller to buy all the share back at even higher price. How is this possible? In the beginning, the short seller have nothing and buyer have $20. And the short seller tried to sell MSG to the buyer at $20. MSG that he doesn't have, he was borrowing. So now the buyer have MSG worth $20. And the short seller have $20 from the buyer. And also owe $20 because he doesn't have MSG. What this short seller is hoping? is for MSG price to drop and when MSG price drop to $5 the buyer now has only an MSG worth $5 so now the short seller buy the MSG back from the buyer so he paid $5 and now the short seller is profiting $15 when the buyer who had $20 is now only having $5 so this is what short seller do they try to borrow a share they don't have to sell you and hope for the price to go down and many of these short seller they sell million million shares 
they tried to make a lot of money. The buyer keep buying shares of GameStop, shares and options. And the price keep going up, 20 to 25. The buyer keep buying, keep buying options and share. GameStop share now go up to $50. The buyer keep buying and buying and buying. And now the share is $100. And more people jump in, more people buying. This is getting popular, this is going crazy. And now GameStop or MSG is worth $150. More people buy, more people buy. It keep going up, $250, $350. Now we have many many buyer who bought in at many different price, share or mostly option contract. So niece and nephew asked me, why don't the short seller keep holding until this share drop back to $20 because this company is worth $20 or less? This is the problem. The only thing a short seller can really do when targeted is to throw in the towel. No point in trying to fight it. You just have to cover your short, meaning buy back the stock to close out your position before, before you run out of money. The short seller have this much money, but now because the share gone up so much, the short seller is now owing the bank so much more money. And the short seller have margin call. The bank force this short seller to sell all the other assets to pay for this margin call or the bank asked this short seller to buy this share back to close out the short. Melvin Capital Management, this is the hedge fund that had shorted uh, this company that had effectively been attacked by an army of investors trying to push up and press up the stock, the, the stock rather, of GameStop along the way. Uh, Melvin Capital is now out of the stock. So this short seller lose many many money, try to close out the short position because they are not allowed to hold, they are not allowed to owe so much on margin. They have taken a, a rather huge loss. This top hedge fund Melvin Capital lost over 3 billion already. We seen some hedge fund lose few billion every day. This helped to push the share price up further. So all the niece and nephew who bought earlier are now getting more more money because the short seller is coming in and buy at high price pushing the share price even higher. What happened when all the short seller are out? Eventually all this is going to go back to reality. GameStop or MSG is going to drop back to $20 or less. What happened to all these niece and nephew who is holding share or call option on MSG that is more than $20? Uncle Robert is afraid many niece and nephew will get burned. Many niece and nephew who join the craze might go bankrupt. This is very very serious. But niece and nephew listen, this is the most dangerous part. The bank or brokerage will force them to sell all their other assets to pay for the short squeeze. So what happened to all the other share? The whole stock market will be dropping. So this is very dangerous, niece and nephew. Please be cautious in this time. Please be safe. Niece and nephew, this show you the retail trader is here to stay. And in my opinion, many of them are doing as good and frankly a better job than a lot of hedge fund analysts that I work with. Retail trader is very strong. Essentially a pushback against the establishment in a really important way. Is a realization that instead of having idea dinners or you know quiet whispered conversations amongst hedge funds in the Hamptons, these kids have the courage to do it transparently in a forum. Many people try to lock us up and they've always wondered, like, why did those folks get bailed out for taking enormous amounts of risk and nobody helped and showed up to help my family? We'll acknowledge the power of this class of investor because to date, it seems like there's a little bit of condescension when talking about this Reddit rebellion. This is crazy. This is mob mentality. These people don't know what they're doing. They may not do the research. But the fact of the matter is, and I'm just speaking from their perspective, 
fact of the matter is they've made a lot of money on GameStop and a lot of these stocks. And if you take a look at some of the oh. other sort of you know, stratospheric rises that we've seen in the past couple of years, whether it be a Bitcoin or a Tesla, the retail cohort had gotten these stories right from the beginning, even as Wall Street turned their nose up. Robinhood and many other brokerage tried to stop us from trading. Trading halt was put on many, many stocks that is undergoing short squeeze. Uncle Robert understand this brokerage have shot on liquidity. They are afraid many niece and nephew go bankrupt. No money to pay them back. They will be in big trouble. We are all in this together. Niece and nephew, please think properly and no money do not grow on tree. We might be playing with time bomb. We might be stepping on minefield. Please be careful. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.